Uh, hi, I'm Hugh Perkins. So uh, what I want to talk about today is Autograd. Uh, so this is the first time I tried to make a YouTube movie. So I have installed uh, PyTorch into Conda and I'm just going to... I've created an environment called PyTorch in Conda and there we go. So we can see that this is a PyTorch, has PyTorch installed. Right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try some simple experiments with the TF, uh, with the autograd variable, which is how differentiation is implemented in Torch. Alright, so let's just create a IPython and we can import torch uh, we can also import autograd from torch now i think if i do the autograd uh, we can see we've got this uh, here we are this variable type uh, okay so let's create a variable so in pytorch uh, if you were not going to use autograd, you would simply be creating like torch.tensors. So I can do like uh, torch.rand13, and uh, we get a tensor of with one row and three columns. Uh, okay, we can make that into a variable very simply. We're simply going to do autograd.variable and now it's a variable. So a, notic, a variable is kind of similar to the TensorFlow variables, but different. So what can we do with a variable? Um, well, we can add things to it. So like, let's say if I assign this to A and I add one, Right, so it basically you can do anything on a on a autocrat variable that you can do on a normal torch tensor. So I can multiply it by three or whatever. Uh, it has some additional properties compared to a normal tensor. So it has a grad property, uh, which is initially none, and it has a creator property. Uh, so if I create, uh, if I just go back and create that variable again, the grad is none and the creator is none. Now the creator is what's going to allow us to chain variables together and then back propagate through them. So as soon as I do a single operation onto the A, let's do like B equal A plus one. Right, now B is this variable and it, it, its value when you print it out is simply A plus one. Uh, so let's look at the grad of both of these and it's still like none because we haven't done any back propagation. And let's look at the creator of A. So we just created it so it's none. And the creator of B is a function. So what this says is B was created by applying this constant add constant onto, it doesn't say onto A, but it is applying it onto A. So there's a relationship between B and A uh, which is stored in this creator attribute. Alright, what else can we do with a variable? We can back propagate through it. Alright, so Let's just create an all ones gradient. So let's say we've got grad output equal, and this is going to be a normal tensor. Uh, so we're just going to like torch dot ones, and let's make it one three. All right, and then we've got A and B, and what we're going to do is going to do B dot backward and grad output. Okay, so it gives us this error because we need to give, we need something that needs some gradients, right? So 
let's go back and recreate the A. And what we're going to do is going to put requires grad equal true. Okay, so we've got A dot create is none. A dot grad is none. And we've got A dot requires grad is true. And we're going to do B equal A plus one. And so we've got B dot creator is this add constant. B dot grad it's none. B dot requires grad. It's also true. Why is it true? It's true because B needs the grad in order to back propagate through to A. Okay. Now if we try B dot backward with the grad output. So grad output remember is like the all ones, right? Uh, B dot backward. Now what's changed is the grad. Okay, so if I do a B dot grad, uh, no it didn't change. The A dot grad. Yeah. Okay, the A dot grad changed. The B dot grad didn't change. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, so what's changed is the A dot grad. And it's all once because we added it. Um, Now the change in the gradient is cumulative. If I do the backward again, uh, the a dot grad is going to be now twos. Okay. So when we run the backward, we're going to want to clear that. So we can do a dot grad dot data dot zero. Okay. Now the a dot grad is zero, and if we back propagate through it again. Right, it's all ones. All right. Uh, now it might be interesting to have some gradient which is not like all ones, right? So there's a few ways of getting that. So obviously, if we back propagate something which is not all ones, like let's say we back propagate torch dot rand uh, one three. Now our a dot grad is not all ones. Uh, but I kind of like back propagating this, uh, this all ones for now. Okay, then the other, uh, the, so the gradient, because we've got b equal a plus 1, then the gradient of, well, db by da is simply 1. All right. But if we did, for example, b equal a times 3, then the gradient, which is db by da, should be 3. So let's try that. So let's say b equal a times 3. Um, we're going to reset the gradient on a. So a dot grad dot data dot 0. So here's our a dot grad. Um, we're going to run the b dot backward, and we're just going to send these all ones through. And a dot grad is now three, as we predicted. So that's cool. Okay. So the variables we can apply operations on them going forwards. And then we can take our grad output, which will probably be like our loss or something like that, and it's going to run backwards through them. All right, so that's probably it for this session. Uh, so we created a variable object, and we applied some operations to it, like add and multiply, just like any standard torch tensor. And what we then did is we looked at some of its special properties, like grad creator. Um, and requires grad. And then what we did is we propagated, back propagated an output gradient. Actually, we were using all ones. We back propagated that through the chain of variables, and um, we saw that we could pass in a grad output to the end of the chain, and that would modify or well, back propagate the gradient back through to the first variable in the chain.
Uh, so in the next session, uh, we'll look at um, more of an RNN style network um, where we have a chain of layers using the same weights and passing uh, input through that chain and uh, back propagating back through it. All right, thank you.